Welcome to Three Point View, where drinking beer and talking sports is what we do. Paul Pierce, supposed to be the truth. The truth was, the Cleveland Cavaliers came into Boston on Paul Pierce Day today. They got rid of IT, so they have to honor him like we talked before, but they came in to the, to the garden and straight whooped him. Yeah, they did. They did. That new group looks good. They look looks young. Good. They look like they play Energetic. defense. They Everything. play defense. They hustle for the ball. Yeah. They, there's a lot of lot of just movement that you weren't seeing out of the old cast. They, what, did, they what? did a still shot of them on a break, mm-hmm. off an offense, off a rebound. And you can see all five players with the ball handler and all the other four players like this. Like they did a still shot. Everybody on the run. Right. They didn't do that before. So no, they were loafing around. before. Oh, yeah, loafing, looking around. Every, it, everybody was saving themselves. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I believe Derrick Rose was going to pull a Ricky Williams because he kept taking the time off right. and decided you know, he was going to retire or whatever. Then when Adidas came out and said, well, you would have to give back $60 million. <laughs> I'll play basketball again. Right. You know? Yeah, he just got released by the Jazz, too. How do you get released right. by the All Jazz? Right. Got released by the Jazz. Has he been there like two days? That's such such a falling from But Jay race. Crowder keeps his job, but he yeah. loses his job? Just think about Derrick Rose's biggest fall from grace. Like, he is one of the biggest stories in all major sports, falling from grace. Well, in reality, he's won an MVP. Yeah. He went to a national championship game. Mm-hmm. And he made $100 million. Well, yeah, I mean, that's good. But, you know, we're talking legacy. Yeah, but it's not like, like uh, 30 for 30. There's not a legacy. Like the best it never was type stuff. But, you know. No, but you yeah. guys know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, Kobe Altman, new mm-hmm. GM. This guy's flipping switches in Cleveland. Yeah. He got what, what did you think about these moves? With Rose is gone now. Crowder's gone. Fry gone. And Isaiah Thomas. He didn't, get that, he didn't get that much time to prove who he was. 15 games. 15 games. Average did you think points. that was He was enough? in uh, L.A. last night and played well yeah. coming off the bench. Yeah, 22 points. It seems, this seems to actually have worked out <coughs> in favor of everyone if it continues right. this, this path. Well, L.A.'s young. But, you know, they, they run. You know, they're up and down a court. That style of play to where LeBron's not dictating the pace or the flow of the game. Yeah. You know? So, IT was able to get out there and, you know, One thing I around. did love seeing tonight out of LeBron is, I don't think LeBron played much, at, if at all, in the fourth quarter of this game. Right, right. And That's the way it needs it. Not only that, but he was, like, excited. He oh, was sitting yeah. there. When Larry Nance did that freaking fiving. dunk, he was, like, leaning on the other teammates. Like, yeah. it was something great to see. Because it's not often you get to see LeBron sitting on the sideline celebrating. No. usually when the boy's not on the, on, on the court, they suck. Well, Rodney Hood <laughs> hit four threes today. Clarkson hit four threes. He looked, did you see... Clarkson looked like a little kid at Christmas. Mm-hmm. Like he was so happy to play for something. Yeah. Like Hood was looking like I've never been this wide open in my life. Right. And this is supposed to be Boston. This is supposed to be one of the top defensive yeah. teams yeah. in the entire league. And there was holes because when you get with LeBron, it's like that LeBron factor. Like Mike Miller was f- fell off a cliff as far as professionally, and then he went to right. Miami, and all of a sudden he's just knocking he, out. He's threes. the Kyle Korver of Cleveland. Yeah, basically, yeah. No. So, Corver actually Corver hit 30 the other night. Yeah, yeah. LeBron had 19 a, assists. Yeah, and they all did good. Corver, Green, LeBron, and Zeddy Osman. I was going to say, Osman's getting a lot more playing time. Oh, they're good. He hustled, man. He's, uh, he's doing all the little things. That he's they 22 needed. years old. Like, he doesn't know I can't anything else. When's the big guy going to come off? When are they going to finally pull big, the big center off the bench? Which one? Zedek or whatever. Zedek? Uh, I don't know. Maybe in a 40 Like, Well, I've, I've seen. I've, I went. Because when, we, he, when they, when they made the trade. Yeah, but they hasn't yeah. really gotten playing time. Mm-hmm. But when they made that trade, I went back and YouTubed him because I wasn't sure who the hell he was, to be honest. But, dude, he was in summer leagues wrecking it. He was athletic. Yeah. He's a, almost seven foot tall. He'll make a like, I'm just year. wondering when, if and when they're going to get this man on the – because Tristan, for a big guy, hasn't been playing yeah, Tristan, so He's so undersized, too. He's only 6'9". Well, I'm just know? saying, well, that's who your big yeah. is. So Right. But he's a, he's a hustler, and he's a, you know he's a defensive guy, and – you know, he gets them flown on that on the rebounding. So. Well, Tyron Lue must have some faith in this offense. It start him when you got Hood and Clarkson on the bench. Yeah. Like those are straight scores. I think I think he's starting Osman because he's I so pure. And, you know, he's he hasn't been subjected to all this other stuff that everyone else has. And so he's just out there just playing. And I he's th- been a pro. I think it's 14. more so an audition. Like yeah. honestly, I have a feeling that he just. He's he's been there already. He already knows what they're trying to accomplish. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and start, and we'll still get these new guys kind of worked in. I don't, I don't see him staying in the starting. Do you ever find yourself comparing every team 
to say the Chicago Bulls. Oh, absolutely. Right? absolutely. So like Osman to me is like Tony Kukoc. Not a good a shooter. Bit, no, a no, no, better no. Defensive. Nothing to do with anything of anything. Just how just it who is. he is. Just how it is. Yeah. I think he might be Rodman and Tony Kukoc's love child. Osman? <laughs> yeah, the way he plays, you know what I mean? He has that fierce you know, uh, competitiveness of Rodman. I think it's a little early for the Rodman. Yeah, yeah I'm just saying. Right. And I don't think he's, well, honestly, the, my comparison for this guy, and I don't think he's maybe as gritty as him, but no. it's Delhi. That's who, just seeing yeah. him back on yeah, the court. Hard just, nose. Just, yeah, that's mm-hmm. kind of like he's Get willing to, face, willing to run, through, run through a yeah. wall, if you ask him. And that's All what right. Cleveland's been missing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it yeah. is. Mm-hmm. So, IT, like I said, went to the Lakers. You said he dropped 22. 22, 6, six. And 8, was it? I don't, I don't remember. 22, 6, and 4. Uh, All right, yeah. Either way, it, it was coming runner. off the bench, no. so he, he, did, he had a hell of a night. He no. crossed, who did he cross over? He crossed somebody over and dropped uh, it right around. Uh, he crossed over somebody on a on a screen, yeah. so it wasn't you know like a one on one. Well, he said he feels Is like this? with this team, he's got his superpowers back. Right, so, right, uh, right. You said. Uh, it was an audition for Os- Osman. Mm-hmm. Is this an audition for IT? Because I believe they're nah. not going to keep him. No, nah, they're not going to keep him. Because he's going to want so much money, and that's going to hinder the Lakers' plan long-term, what they're trying to do. And IT is not in their long-term plan. So I don't think he's auditioning for the Lakers per se, because he's not in their long-term plans. So yeah, what he's auditioning for is the entire rest of the league, because he's going to hinder their cap. and what they're trying Oh, to absolutely. Do I, and I agree with that. Um, but what I... Don't see happening for him because of the injury and stuff. Even mm-hmm. if he gets back to the IT of the Celtic days, that injury history, the little run there in Cleveland, I think that's going to hinder him from getting the big bucks regardless. Oh, yeah, he's not he's, getting He max, may max end up trying money. to search around the league and realize, well, you know yeah. what, L.A.'s got this good thing going on. What will you guys give me? He may, he may end up being in L.A. I don't know I, that he's going to – if he aims for the big bucks, he's probably I, not going to get I don't see him it, going but, to – the Lakers. How many more teams can he, this guy play he for? He may go to the Clippers <laughs> because Austin Rivers is also a free agent after this year, yeah. and Doc Rivers probably ain't coming back. No. So if he's going to stay in LA, he could go in the same building. He's going to test go the waters, but oh, yeah. here's the deal: even though like the max contract with the TV and everything for mm-hmm. next year is why mm-hmm. LeBron hasn't signed yet, right? right. So it's going to be stupid money. So it might be even though he's not going to get max. He's still getting high. He's still though. getting twenty five. Right. Twenty five million is going to be a discount. That's the crazy thing. Like twenty five right. million before yeah. was a lot. Now it's going to be thirty five million max contract, and he's it not going to get what's that. What's crazy about this is, all right, think about this: how everything has changed financially in the NBA world with the TV deals and everything. Growing. Michael Jordan had a record one year thirty million, right? And then Mike Conley two years ago Mike gets Conley. thirty plus million <laughs> Mike yeah. right? a year. That's, I mean, that's just crazy. But the equivalent to what Jordan did was like if someone right now was making fifty, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Oh, that, yeah. That's mm-hmm. how they they said in the contract talks, everybody gets X amount of dollars except Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. Like, how big are you that you're the exception? You're the right. one, and, and everybody was cool with it. Everybody yeah. was like, okay, uh, right. Deal. Who's gonna argue? It? Sounds good. Yeah, I think it's a discount. So, <laughs> D Wade goes back to Miami. I love it. I love it. Um, Does he give him that playoff push? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If absolutely. if if not for his play, just insp- emotional. It, yeah, inspirational. Mm-hmm. Just being there again. Um, I think he his first game back, he only he got like three, three points, points or something. It was like it one six shooting. Yeah. But he had a key block with under a minute left to seal that victory for Miami. Yeah. yeah. And so. so. Oh, hold on, real quick. Did you know that Dwayne Wade is an all-time blocks leader for a shooting guard in no, NBA I history? I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. That's wild. Well, Pippen played forward, so right. yeah, I'm trying to think off That's the top wild. of my head. Who? Yeah, I didn't even. Honestly, I don't even think when I think of him, I don't think of him blocking shots. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. so I watched that game today with the Celtics and the Cavs, and the Cavs came out hungry. But a little, we talked mm-hmm. about the whole Paul Pierce thing. Right, right. How in the world does Robert Parrish say that Paul Pierce is the greatest scorer in the history? Greatest offensive. Offensive. Get that. Offensive. Does the Chief have dementia? Well, he is in between Havlicek. It's Havlicek, Pierce, Bird. Oh, right? somebody's putting Havlicek back in. So, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, total, total points wise. Gotcha. It's Havlicek, Pierce, and Bird. But, see, Pierce did it over a longer period of time to where Bird was injured throughout all that time. Yeah. And then Havlicek did it against, you know, what type of competition. Bird's one of the greatest so. scorers in NBA history. NBA, not just the Celtics, in the NBA. People talk about him. He's top ten in everybody's discussion ever. Yeah. He's yeah. top five in some discussion. But if you ask somebody who's maybe 60 years old, 
they're going to have somebody completely different because that was their generation. That's who they grew up watching. I think, you know how Bird is. He's probably calling up, he's probably writing Parrish off. He's probably so pissed. You know how he is. I mean, uh, you know what? Here's I think, I think, I think Bird would agree, though. I think Bird would I, I agree with Bird that. I don't think Bird would agree on that. I, 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 think, I think today was his day mm-hmm. and Paul Pierce's and everybody day. Said nice and everybody was going to say something nice. And yeah. that was just something nice to say. And How do you think it fell for LeBron to piss all over? Oh, absolutely! Paul I, thought, yeah, I thought it was great. I thought it was great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had I had left Doc Rivers. Uh, they, oh yeah, they, they had they, Rivers, they Garnett, interviewed him. Rondo, all them there. They interviewed Doc and they said, "Well, how is it going to be to be just a fan instead of like, like coaching or whatever?" He goes, "Well, I think I'm just going to you know yell at the referees and maybe even boo LeBron a little bit." <laughs> and I, I thought that was hilarious. And then I turned yeah. on the game and I started cracking up laughing because he's just sitting there stone faced, all of them, just like. Like no words coming out of anybody. Rondo, Rondo was there. Yeah, Rondo was there. Yeah. KG was KG. there. With his little, with his little hood. He still looks like yeah. a little turtle. Yeah. What's that all about? <laughs> He's still playing. I mean, yeah. he had a huge, he had a nice alley nice oop with uh, uh, Anthony Davis. I mean, AD. Well, he had a, he had almost had a triple double night before last, and because they did demote him back to the bench, coming off the bench, and then he got his start. There was like a rain delay with court, you know, moisture or whatever. But then he came back on as a starter and had a triple double almost and. I mean, he, he's he's solid still. He's still solid. He just he still can't be an offensive weapon though. Yeah. But he had twenty plus points. Does this trade make the Cavs the top seed in the East? Oh, yeah. as of two weeks ago, yeah. no one was no one was everybody saying they were third at this. They're point. still the um, top team in the East. Well, right now they are third at this point. They got uh, what's well, the Raptors? Raptors Record wise, do you believe in the Raptors? No, no, no. Um, I think believing the Ra- in the Raptors is like believing in the Cowboys. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, it's just going to let you down. They're going to let you down. Um, I personally think that it's not guaranteeing them to be a favorite. I I still feel like that. I don't think today's blowout would have been as much of a blowout if in the fourth quarter suddenly they quit trying. Come playoff time, no. Kyrie would have still been in that game. Kyrie wasn't playing in the fourth quarter either. He was just sitting there yeah, like bummed out. I mean, they were down. Oh, I'm not points. saying that the butt whooping. Wasn't going on, but I'm saying they kind of. I just think the momentum, the, the air was yeah. sucked out of oh, the Oh, absolutely, you absolutely. Do, does this put them there? They're one or two. I mean, they, they definitely have a better shot of. It's, if, it's if you rewind, the, if you if yeah, if you wanted to rewind the clock to before this trade, I would have said Cleveland would be lucky to get into the second round. Yeah, like, absolutely. Uh, I mean, now, now I feel like they're they might lose the Golden State. I love <laughs> like, I love the addition of George Hill. Being able to guard Stephen Curry because of the height, the length. George Hill's healthy. He's always known as a good defender. And he can handle Steph Curry on the defensive side because of his length. And then you got Klay Thompson. And then you got Rodney Hood guarding him. Rodney Hood's 6'9". And he is lengthy, athletic, everything. So that's solid. Then you got LeBron on Durant if he actually plays on Durant and not off Durant. So then you got Love, Draymond, Tristan, and Pachulia. I think it's a very good matchup now. It is a good matchup. I might put love with Pachulia (laughs) and make that switch. (laughs) On this this next segment, we're going to come back to you. And we talked about how the Lakers cleared cap cap space and that Isaiah basically is on an audition. But let's talk about what's going to happen in the summer of 2018. We'll be right back at you at Three Point View. (laughs) 